Hello everybody, my name is Ardendris, and welcome back to Roguecraft. We are here in the Infinite Dome, because we died at the end of last time. So basically, last time we were exploring the Trials, something I've never actually gotten a chance to explore before, because I've never played in 120. <laughs> oh, I actually start with all my gear in this place too. Um, is all the stuff I left in that hole still around? I actually have my abilities here too? A bit weird. Oh no, that I was all too close to not all despawned. A little bit sad. So if I go over to some of those beacons and whatnot, I'll be able to get my stuff over here. I have yet to do anything in the, uh, in the infinite garden, and I'm probably not going to at this point. But anyways, the last time we were exploring a trial, which is really flipping cool. Like, that is a really cool system. It feels modded. It does not feel like base game Minecraft. <laughs> but we were exploring a trial. We managed to clear more or less the entire thing. But, uh, but then I drank an ominous potion, which activates the ominous trial. Which is just considerably harder. Everything that didn't have armor now does. Things are hitting a whole lot better, a whole lot faster and stronger. They're dropping potions from the sky that do something. I have no idea what. So, so it's very cool. I want to find another one of those because we missed a couple of the achievements. Where is it on this list? Yeah, we didn't get to the mace, so we couldn't get over overkill. And we didn't get an ominous key to unlock an ominous vault. But other than that, I think we got all of the things in the trials. So I guess it's just a couple. We're not, we're not missing... Um, well, we are missing a lot. I was about to say we're not missing a whole bunch, but we really are. But anyways, we picked up like 70 skill points or something like that. So we didn't do anything in this room. We basically just maxed out most of our gear. Like all of our starting stuff is better. I didn't put punch on the bow because I'm one point shy, basically. But all of our armor couldn't be any better. Our sword and our pickaxe are maxed out. Maxed out attack speed, max health and defense, and then picked up a couple new abilities. So we now have the fireball and the shockwave of arrows on top of drilling quick kill that we had before. So it's some very cool stuff. We should be a lot better off. I picked up Arrow Shockwave because I wanted an offensive ability. But we want to do a run focused on beating the first boss so that we can uh, unlock the rest of the things in here. Or at least unlock the ability to get the rest of the things in here. Which makes me think that Liquid Walker would be a decent idea because this would just let me walk on lava. Just a question of what would I give up for it? Drill? Maybe? Um, what does Drill help me with? It helps me finding, like, base resources. But I can probably find enough iron. This isn't a run focused on going underground, so I don't think I need to. So I'm gonna do that for right now. And then probably, and probably pretty quickly forget that I did that and regret doing it entirely. But yeah, I, I, we were looking at the achievements, uh, at the things we can get up. We got jump boost, forgot about that one. But things like regen, fire resistance, regular resistance, and water breathing, like four very powerful abilities, are all locked behind gold locks, which I think actually might mean both bosses. There are three different colors of lock. I'm not entirely sure what each one means. But I think the more bosses we beat, the different color locks will go away. So, hopefully we'll be able to unlock something like that. One second, the sun is beaming right through my window into my eyes. I need to fix it. Okay, that's better. I don't actually have, like, a curtain or blinds for my window. But I do have, like, the, uh, hooks for... Of, of a curtain rod or whatever. So I just took a blanket and hung it up for now. I really, I really need to get something. Anyways, let's start the run, shall we? I don't think we can upgrade anymore. We only have a single point. We're about as good, well kitted out as we can be. So we're heading to the nether this run. I should have picked up Dolphin's Grace. What is this? What is this spawn? This is bad. Fine, I guess I'm swimming. <laughs> oh, man. Why, why did I spawn in the middle of the ocean? Like, why would you do that to me, game? <laughs> But, uh, our starting gear is 
pretty well set up now. We should have no problem getting base resources down. We just need to hopefully get pretty lucky. Like, I want to find a cave system so I can find a little bit of iron and hopefully gold. And then basically we're just on the hunt for obsidian. We still can't use uh, invulnerable shield. We don't have enough key. Uh, we don't have enough key, huh? Mana is what it's actually called. Liquid wa liquid walker costs 32 mana. That's too not too bad. Um, do we see any iron? We don't need much iron. Probably just like 16 of it will get us through the entire run. But I do want to gather up a bunch of this coal and copper while I can. Ow. Oh yeah, feather falling. I don't actually take that much damage. <laughs> Uh, just grab you. And try to avoid some mobs for a minute. Um, I already have plenty of cobble because I have the starting cobble now. Oh, hold on. There's a uh, spawner thing. Um, I'll just grab this bit of copper. And then I'll just start clearing out some of the other resources around here. But what is in... What uh, do we have here? Oh yeah, I should actually make torches at some point. Like, someone in the comments was talking about it. I've just neglected uh, torches this entire time. Um, bones and redstone. Emergency food rod and flash, because I ran out of food last time and it ended up getting me killed. Oh, there's the iron we're after. And now I'm being snuck up on by a creeper, but it's fine. Ooh, two shot now. I guess we do have sharpness two now, so it makes sense. Where was it? There it is. Wow. Ah. I said wow. Jump boost one only gets you about an extra block, so I still can't jump high enough. <laughs> Wait, is it even an extra block? I can't even jump up two blocks right now, so I guess jump boost one is just a block and a half we can jump up higher. Which me a jump boost is not useful. <laughs> if it was jump boost two or three, maybe. But just like base jump boost is not being handy. Anyways, there's a decent chunk of gold and iron in this place to clear out real quick. So I'm just gonna gather a lot of this basic resources real quick. Ooh, this cave opened up a whole lot more than I thought it did, and then I just found another zombie spawner. Still nothing good in it, just like the other one. But I'll take the bread and some of these other resources. Oh yeah, we have thorns now, I forgot. <laughs> we have thorns and protection, so we're actually taking a lot less damage and doing some back when we get hit. I saw a big cave system with some diamonds in it that we're going to be getting in just a moment. Uh, I'm assuming I don't get two turn around. I also don't think I, I have not picked up a singular piece of coal. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. I have everything else but it at this point. <laughs> well, I didn't pick up any lapis because we're not going to really need that either. But everything but lapis and coal. Diamonds, I already know where they are. Let's not have a... Let's avoid having a repeat of what happened with the ancient city, shall we? Air case, don't dig straight down. That's how you die. Um... I do actually have a decent chunk of copper now. I have a decent chunk of iron, probably more than I'm even going to need. Redstone, because I think we do need it for a couple of achievements. And just like a little bit of gold, enough for a few skill point sets. Thank you. I love how I gave up the dig ability on this one because I didn't think I would be spending much time underground. And then instantly I'm just in a cave. I mean, I'm in a cave where I didn't need the dig ability, actually, so... You know what, it's funny, it's kind of ironic, but it's still okay. It doesn't change much. But, oh, there's a lot of gold in here. I kind of want all of it. Because <laughs> gold is very useful. Like, I can use it for trading. I can use it for skill points. But I'm, I'm going to need all of these. All of these diamonds. Hold on, I see like six different diamond veins. Weren't diamonds made to be kind of uncommon in open air? Why is there so many right on the surface like this? <laughs> I just gotta deal with some zombies so I can gather all of it. Okay. Let's see what the hall is like from this cave. This is a pretty lucky spawn, apparently. 
Time to test our new ability, Arrow Shockwave. Ow. This is... Um, it's very cheap. I can just sort of spam it a lot. Can I pick up the arrows? Didn't think so. It's kind of cool. Like, it's really only effective if you're surrounded by mobs, though. Ow, good thing I have feather falling. Anyways, I'm still here exploring. I missed a piece of gold there and a diamond. But, uh... After... I've been in here for like 10 minutes just gathering things. I, ha I have more diamonds than I have gold by a actually decent chunk, considering how much rarer they're supposed to be. This place has came out really lucky, and there's still, and it just keeps going, and there's just more gold and more diamonds everywhere. I, 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 I'm gonna have more than enough diamonds. Gold is a bit more on the, uh, on the uncertain side, I suppose. Anyways, where were you? There you are. I'm just gonna keep at it, try and gather as much of the stuff as I can, but I don't want us to be in here too long, so the difficulty level starts skyrocketing. I thought I was falling to take more fall damage. I need to be more careful, even if I do now have feather falling. Um, quick heal. Eat up. And food is something we are going to have to gather if we want to go beat a boss in the nether. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I really can't spend too much time in this cave, even if I want to. Although I saw a lush cave biome a little bit further in, so I might even find a, a glow squid, which is just another easy achievement as soon as I find one. Okay, so I'm still exploring. I have almost a full stack of gold. I have 53 diamonds and another big chunk just like around this corner somewhere. And more gold together there. And I found another spawner. Which is cool! It's not really the exciting thing that I just came back for. Um, I'm, I'm exploring a lush cave, trying to find a glow squid real quick, but all I see is axolotls. Let's pull up the map, shall we? And... I don't know. Let's just let's go a little, a little bit north. <laughs> we found another trial and another thing. Uh, what are you called? Uh, abandoned mineshaft. <laughs> Game. <laughs> Game. I'm, I'm not here for that. I was down here specifically. So that I could get ready for another trip, so I could go beat one of the bosses and unlock more abilities. I'm not ready to explore another one. I also found a giant lake, uh, lake of lava that had water pouring in, uh, right into it, so I just mined up 20 uh, obsidian and got the achievement for uh, having obsidian again. I'd, I'd rather, I figured I wouldn't make you sit through me mining a whole bunch of that stuff, it took a little bit. But now we can just make two portals and do the nether travel mission as well, or achievement. Advancement, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, we got another trial to do. That's not exactly what I was planning on. Um, are there any glow squids on the map? Just a whole bunch of axolotls and fish. Which, I mean, axolotls are adorable. I'm not going to complain about seeing an axolotl, but uh, they're not exactly the under underground uh, aquatic life I'm looking for. <laughs> but, uh... I, I'd seen another big thing of diamonds oh, somewhere nearby. I just don't remember exactly where it was. I know it wasn't over here. I just started running this way to see if there was any uh, glow squids. But I'm just going to gather a few more pieces of gold. I probably have more gold than I'm even going to need. I currently have 18 skill gems, which means... A uh, little bit over a stack of diamonds and gold will get me uh, 18 times 4. A little bit over a stack of... <laughs> a little bit over a stack of uh, skill points for the next run. So I kind of want to just gather up to a stack of diamonds and then call it good. That's probably all I'm going to need. Like the odds of me finding like any more than this aren't high, but the odds of me finding this to begin with weren't high to begin with, so maybe. You no, know, I'd seen a few more. I'm going to ignore a lot of this gold from now on. But I really need to go find some coal. Don't give me the really cool thing to explore again. I have other things I needed to do with this run game. 
Plus, I don't even have the dig ability, so I can't really make it over there quickly. Odd. Rock in a hard place. Which cool thing... Which thing do I want to go do? Fight a cool new boss or explore the cool new structure that I didn't get a chance to properly test out because I ended up dying? I actually am in a condition to do neither right now because I have zero food. Can I find one more diamond? I just need to go find one more diamond, and then I really need to make my way to a surface, gather some coal, get some food, smelt up all of this uh, gold, make skill points so I don't lose them. There's a lot I need to do. I, I need one more diamond. There we go. I actually ignored a couple because they were in just, like impossible to get locations. So thank you for making this one easier. Um, Eat a raw potato. I don't know if I've done so yet. Um, seriously, do I go do the trial, which is a super rare thing I've only seen once? Or do I go fight a new boss? The new boss is better progression, because we don't really need much out of a trial, other than the good gear it gives us. And, like, two achievements we missed. Or I need the food. Let's make our way to the surface. I'm actually kind of... <laughs> I am very sad that I have to give up on exploring that trial. I had so much fun with it last time. Can I go up, please? So, I'm going to try and find some coal as I go towards the surface. This is possible to traverse for some reason. Coal, yay. Supercharged creepers, less yay. Anyways, I'll see you in a little bit. I just need to get some food, which means going all the way to the surface and collecting as much coal as I can along the way. Um, diorite. I don't need a singular piece of diorite. Um, I, I'm still very glad. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I already knew about the abandoned mine shaft. Never mind, never mind. I've never seen, like, an overgrown abandoned mine shaft. That's kind of cool. Anyways, no, do not get distracted, me. I need to make it to the surface so I can gather food. I have ended up lost. This is not the pathway that was going to lead me up. Anyways, I'll see you on the surface. We are not in the position to explore that right now anyways, so I have to give it up. Sad. Okay, so I finally made it back to the surface, and I came right up into a jungle, which does mean melons, but other food options are kind of scarce. Don't need you. There's 20 melons, that's something. Hopefully I'll find more. But, uh, along the way I found very little coal. So I figured I'd just grab a few logs and just turn these into charcoal while I'm at it. Like, one piece of coal should create 16 piece of pieces of charcoal, each one smelting 16 things. It, it's, pretty fair, it's, it's a pretty fair exchange, even more so than it usually is in normal. <laughs> usually, one piece of coal just equals eight pieces of charcoal. But where one piece equals 16, it's just so much better. So, anything else to explore? Any other melons? Kind of looking for melons here, game. Can you are there any more spawned in anywhere? Doesn't really look like it. Not super lucky with the melons. Hopefully I'll be able to find some other animals to just eat real as soon as I go over to the plains biomes I saw. Go kindly right away. Uh, quick heal. Melons, there we go. Anyways, I'm just going to explore this place, try to find as many melons as I can, because I need something. Then I need to hopefully find somewhere safe to set up my smeltery and all that stuff. And then, uh, we'll see how many skill points we get. I'm assuming we're not going to need to do any more skill, skill point smelting. Because, oh boy, I have a lot of golden diamonds to turn into skill points right now. Anyways, I'll see you in a moment once I've started dealing with this stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to get somewhere safe. Okay, so the first little bit of stuff is smelted up. Basically just 16 coal, uh, 16 gold rather, and then a chunk of charcoal that I've already got going. Now I did go and kill a couple of ki pigs. I didn't have space for anything else, so 30 pork chops is what we're looking at. But let's save up a little bit of space and let's use you in like this. We're up to 20 skill points. There is a desert over there, which I want to explore real quick and see if we can't find a desert temple. 
because that's just another easy one, because that should have the, uh, what is it called, the, like, suspicious sand or whatever. I just need to get a single feather from a chicken. <laughs> Which, with a looting sword, should be pretty much no problem. Yeah, there we go. I would absolutely love to get some beef, too, but inventory is such a problem. <laughs> that's one space filled, that's one space cleared up, but I'm going to need to use it, like, immediately for iron. And make a shield. This one, how you doing? Food is cooking up just fine. I should actually make a couple more of you to just speed things along a little bit more. Dot, dot. Actually, you know, grab the charcoal. That would be nice. Um, four of you equals a stack. So there we go. And one is just going to be... I grabbed way too much copper. I'm not going to need anywhere... In fact, I don't think I need to use any of that copper, really. Sure, I'll just use it for the raw gold. Because, like, I'm going to have way more skill points than I actually need. It's like, what am I going to buy if I can't beat the boss? And what am I going to buy if I do? I'm going to have, like, 80 skill points just from using all those diamonds anyways. It means I probably didn't need to make all that charcoal. I could have just used all the coal. That's why I was saving the coal to begin with. Anyways, it's just going to take a little bit for everything to smelt up, but then we're going to explore that de desert real quick, see if we can't find a temple. And then we're going to head to the nether, just because I think we're a bit better kitted out now. So, just playing the waiting game. Okay, let's turn these into this. There we go, 73. With a single diamond left over that we're probably not going to be using. Actually, I probably could just dump this diamond, which sounds so silly, but I can't use it for anything. But come to think about it, I, I, I thought about it a little bit more, and I remembered, oh yeah, I need copper in order to make the, like, two sat ones as well. So, nope, nope, nope. I want to use the gold with you. There we go, 83 skill points. And, um, you know what? I can just leave the rest of this. I don't... <laughs> I'll keep the gold because it has other uses, but I don't think I'm going to be needing you. I did make a bucket in the iron, so I have acquired hardware, so that's an extra skill point I got. I don't need any more copper. Like, I'm not going to be making any more skill points at this point. Um, I probably don't even really need the furnaces, but I'll take them with me just in case. You can get left behind. You can get left behind. I had a single extra piece of charcoal. I really just don't need you. Go away. I need a single piece of that copper. Hold on. <laughs> I don't need you. Wait a second. Hold on. Maybe I do. Um. What do I not need? <laughs> Gosh, my inventory is so full of junk. Um. I don't need a hoe. <laughs> Like, <laughs> go away, I, uh, Diamond Ho. Like, you're useful for, like, two achievements I already have. And other than that, you're just completely useless. So we're, we're okay on food. We have 30 melons, so that's just, like, 30 hunger things. 30... Oh, no, it's 56 melons, so 56 hunger things. 56 melons, one cooked chicken... 30 pork chops, and then a couple pieces of bread as well. I'd probably go here because they're going to run out faster. But is there a desert temple? If there is, that's a pretty simple achievement to just get one, to, to get the singular shard piece at least. Tr trying to get four for a, uh, for a full pottery thing, pot, a full pottery pot, yeah. <laughs> Is that's not going to happen, but at least if I could find the one, it would be something. Though that doesn't look super promising. Um. Oh, there's our spawn. Funny, we came back around full circle. Anyways, doesn't look like we're gonna get super lucky with this. Let's just make our portal and be on to the nether. This took quite a bit longer to get here than I wanted it to. We're already up to difficulty level 7. Three, two, three. Piece of cobbled deep slates. 
like so and so. We 10 extra ones for one extra portal in the nether. And here we go. Actually, you know what? I need to make like a singular space in our inventory. So, you know what? Fine, I'll make a singular skill point just because. <laughs> and that was definitely a waste to eat that chicken now, but it's whatever. Um, Inventory can't really be much better with our current layout. I'm just like so full of random pieces of junk. I don't need feathers. I don't need bones or string. Rotten flesh is like emergency food. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? Um, blocks, some resources that might get use out of, um, don't need gunpowder. Okay, it's something at least. While I'm in the nether, I just need to pick up a, uh, a bucket of lava for another free achievement that we can get repeatedly. We need to go deeper. Now, where did we, where are we? Um, kind of a rough spot, but it could be worse. I hear that ghast. Oh, I don't have a spyglass, which means that I can't get that one. I had a spyglass on the last run, or the run before. I don't quite remember which. But we need to find a bastion. We need to find a nether fortress. I want to go down there and actually get a bucket of lava, but that's going to take some work. Uh, maybe it won't be as bad, because it looks like we're pretty well layered up here. Just a question of finding a way to safely progress. Um, I would love fire resistance. Then I could just, like, jump all the way down. Where is it? That went through that tree. That also went through that tree. I, I hit the fireball, not the gas. You are being rude. Oh, really? You survived? I guess because it's a bow and not a crossbow, it does a little bit less damage, but still rude. So, I think this will be... Ow. Let's be careful. Actually, grab out our blocks. And... We've made it to lava level. It's scarier than I wanted it to be, but we did it nonetheless. Now, how does Liquid Walker work? I should have tested this on water. <laughs> but I didn't. Okay. Does the basalt stay? Or does it disappear? Is that a fortress? I think it is. Liquid walker. Can I outrun it? I think I can outrun it. So let's be careful. <laughs> I should have tested this on water. This was silly. Why did I do testing in the moment? Where's my bow? Gotcha. Return to sender. <laughs> Thankfully, this is pretty cheap. Like, it's only 32 mana, and it lasts a pretty long time. 48 is what I was... Or 84, I think. I ended up at 48. Yeah, I get just about half the mana I use for it back by the time it runs out. So, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty nice pickup, especially when you need to be traversing lava lakes. <gasps> double jump, or not double jump, double jump would be really nice, actually. No, a singular level of jump boost is actually kind of detrimental. It means I'm a little slower at pillaring. Plus, it, it doesn't even give me, like, a full block. It lets me jump over fences. Got you. No wither skeleton skull, though. <laughs> it wouldn't be that easy. I only have looting one anyways. Anyways, I just need to find a blaze spawner. You're kidding me. Immediately, I'm going to find another right one. Come on, I've messed this up big time. Um, I hate Wither. I, Wither is my least favorite effect to get on me. Like, there's no telling how hurt you really are. Looks like we're good. 
I see. Gold is worse than what I have, but it means I won't get attacked by piglins, so I might as well at least take it. I, I see blazes on the map. Is that a blaze spawner, though? That's what we're after. Um, I should actually have blocks in my hotbar. Let's see. Um, are they above me or below? Um, looks like they're above me? Below me? I guess they're below me. 50-50 <laughs> shot. I got it wrong first time. Of course I did. But is it a spawner? Or is it... Yes, random blazes. Random blazes. Are you kidding me? Oh, someone has a punch bow. You know what? Rude. Rude game. You know what? I should have made a cauldron. Oh, I'm a bit of a goof. Cauldrons are really nice. They're the only way to get water into the nether. I didn't even think about that until just now when it's way too late to do it. I do have extra iron and I'm just not using it for anything else in these runs. A blaze spawner. I'm sure it's gotta have one somewhere, right? Like, the odds of a uh, nether fortress not having a blaze spawner are, like, really low, I think. I, I think it's the vast majority have at least one. Ah, uh, random spawns, not actual uh, spawners. Do we have another thorns? We have another thorns one. Are you kidding me? And everything stop having thorns, please. Anyways, I'm just going to keep exploring this place. Hopefully I'll find a spawner. If not, I'm going to have to find a different fortress, which might be painful. But at least it will give us a chance to go try and find a bastion while we're at it. Speaking of, what is that on the map? Is that just like a... Yeah, there's a little square up to the north on the map just by like the area where I was walking on lava. I thought it might be something, but no, it doesn't look like it anymore. Thanks for the ominous uh, ambient music coming in right about now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to keep exploring. Hopefully this place actually has a spawner. It would suck if it doesn't. Ah, don't shoot me, please. Ow, I got... In trying to avoid blazes, I got hit by nethers... By wither skeletons. Gosh, I'm a bit of a goof. Give me a moment to spite... Now, I'm just going to get to exploring, and hopefully it has one. Are you kidding me? I guess I'm going to wait here a moment and then explore. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Get me out of here, get me out of here. <laughs> I'm not even entirely sure how I had enough time there to actually go hit resume recording. Oh, uh, there's a punch flame uh, uh, power skeleton over here. <laughs> It was an absolute menace to society, and I wanted to, to die. Are you kidding me? It's literally shooting through my shield constantly. Please die. Ow. I thought I was going to die there, which is why I actually came back. Ow. That hurt. And on top of that, it was while I was dealing with a wither skeleton that that thing showed up. So just, just to make me fear a little bit more. <laughs> Anyways, I've, I've still yet to find a blaze monitor, although I haven't managed to make it very far because these things are just everywhere. <laughs> I just, every, every one of them has at least punch, if not flame and, po and power. <laughs> like it is rough going right now. But I keep finding random sporadic blazes. None of them have actually given me a blaze rod, so we haven't gotten that achievement. And none of them actually come from a spawner. Which is getting scary. It means I'm probably going to have to go find a different one. Although that is a bastion on my map to the southeast. So, consolation prizes, I guess. But uh, I have a little bit more to explore. Really? No blaze I was saying. 
I don't want to fight a random blaze on top of a boss blaze. So... It's time. Out. Hmm. You've got... I don't... It was obviously enchanted, but I have no idea with what. Because that didn't really seem like punch or power. And it definitely wasn't flame. I would have noticed that. I don't know. Let's do it. The Blaze Guardian or something like that. I don't remember what you're called. The Wildfire. Let's go, bossy friends. Oh, I do damage and break like different shields. Oh, he's going to explode. Um. Oh, explosions. Okay, you're cool. But I think I've got this. <laughs> I just have to avoid a big explosion. I'm assuming this fight might change up when he, uh, when I break those shields and manage to actually do damage to him. That's the fire all randomly. But that just looks like blaze. That just looks like blaze shots, which means I should be able to just deal with those as normal. Phase two. Oh, wait, no, not a phase change. I still have to get through the shields. Oh, not a good time for a lagging game. Quick heal, quick heal. Good thing I'm a healer. <laughs> or at least I have healing abilities. Big explosion, that one's scary. Oh, that's like the fire shots, which I can block, but he launches multiple. That's big explosion time. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. No, you're kidding me. What? I blocked the explosion, but I still took. But I still got set on fire, I guess. Okay, hoglins, really? Not the time. Are you kidding me? He just ignores my shield sometimes. Uh, his shield is, like, very hard to actually get through, though. I'm out of mana for healing. Oh, that's a big explosion. I almost ran right into it. Oh, I broke a shield. I broke two shields. Ow. Oh, that's going to be that one. What just lit me on fire there? Oh, that's big explosion. Oh, what just hit me on fire there? Oh, this is scary. Oh, there's a second blaze. That's what it was. Hold on. Oh. Oh. I'm in terror mode. I'm in terror mode. Oh, I've almost got him. But he's a menace to society. Iglins can get right out of my way. I'm not dealing with you on top of this. Big explosions. Okay. Okay, I can actually launch those back at him. Semi-reliably. Big explosion time. Hold on. Back up. Oh, he spawns blazes. It's phase two now. Yay. Phase, phase changes. Okay, I'm actually kind of, I'm kind of glad he has a phase change. Like, this is scary, but manageable. It is getting less manageable as the fight goes on. <laughs> uh, not a good time to run into a piglin. Oh no. Ah, oh, this is bad. Like, I'm running out of safe places. 
like my only safe place is quickly getting destroyed. Oh, this is. Oh, oh, I'm in danger. I am scared. My heart is beating. Oh, oh this is cool though. As scary as, as this is, I am enjoying myself. Okay. Arrow shots actually work pretty well. I just have to avoid the big explosions. We're into the tens. Oh, what was that? My arrow went through that ex fireball and didn't actually knock it back. Ah. Uh, Fire is scary. Oh, I was punching, but I guess wasn't punching well enough. Ah, oh, those extra the spawns are actually what's scary about this. At this point. Because I can deal with the big explosions. I just have to dodge them. The fireballs are semi-reliably avoidable. Uh, dealing with multiple blazes at the same time, especially now that I'm out of arrows, apparently. Oh, I ran out of inventory space, so I can't pick up the one I dropped. That's what happens. Get me... Oh, I can't pick up that arrow, period, for some reason. Fine, then. Oh, come on. <laughs> I am quickly running out of melon slices. I, I need to get close, but I can't. <laughs> That's big explosion time. I got gotcha. you. Not the time. Mob D, you gain 10 skill points for defeating the wildfire. You now have 99 in total. A stronghold has generated at 100,000. Zero. Okay. So we know where the stronghold is now, too. Great. Let's go see if we can't pick up some rewards, shall we? I'm sure we got something out of it. We still have the spawn to deal with. Uh, come on. Oh, God. Can, can you just give me a blaze rod, at least? Oh, it did. Hold on, hold on. Inventory space, and from all the explosions, break, breaking everything. Uh, good thing I have healing. Because, uh... Oh, I'm dead here. Yeah. Oh, come on, game. Come on. There was nothing I could do there. I couldn't kill it, because I was just going to kill myself. And every time I tried to swing and get it away from me, it would set me on fire. Gosh, game, I hate you sometimes. Did I actually not get the rewards? Like, that actually unlocked things, right? <laughs> okay, it did. Cool. Oh, I'm a little mad about that. <laughs> a little bit mad about that. I didn't get to actually get whatever the cool, glowy thing was with the blaze powder going on. Ca careful. No. <laughs> but anyways, we beat it. Yes. Let's see. We have 99 skill points. What can we get? Going up to 160 mana? Almost surely. Max health? We can double our max health. All of these. Okay, hold on. Bronze means that you need one more boss to unlock the next level, I think. But you can do something with it. Iron means it's currently maxed out. Actually, nothing's iron now because we beat the first boss. That allows you to walk in midair. Actually, yeah, we can basically get everything but resistance and the regeneration right now, which kind of makes sense. Those two are really good abilities. But we can just upgrade whatever we want. Oh, no, enchanted golden apples are also out of the equation. Uh, well, I mean, fire resistance is a sure fire thing. I am 100% getting that. Mana regen would be nice, but I'm definitely getting max mana up to 160 so I can use my tank abilities. What is better than diamond? Netherite. Netherite is better than diamond. But does Netherite actually have an improvement on it? Better our armor. 
Night Vision I already have. I could ju get Jump Boost too. I'm not going to upgrade my stats right now unless I have nothing else to send to points with. Um, deals massive damage to all nearby mobs. Okay, that's probably just better than Arrow Shockwave. Explosion. It causes an explosion around you, dealing damage to mobs. Drill can get better. Quick Heal can get better. Liquid Walker can't get better. Oh, it can get better. What, what does that do to him, uh, improve itself? Anyways, Fireball instead of, uh, instead of Arrow Shockwave, because Arrow Shockwave is kind of bad. Oh, and then we have 46 points to spend across whatever we want. Mana regen up to full will cost 30. That would be nice. Better armor is another 10. So if I did both of those. Infinity? I can just get infinity on my bow now? Oh, that's also really good? Oh. I wish we got to see... I, I wish we had survived in there. A stronghold has generated at 100,000 zero. Does that mean that there will always be a stronghold at 100,000 zero? Or do I have to go in and beat the Blaze boss again in order to unlock another stronghold? I, I don't have my loads. I don't have my load com compass in this place, so obviously I can't check that right now. I can just start with flint and steel. I can just start with a bucket, start with gold apples, which would be really nice. I don't know. There's just a whole lot of stuff to choose from. I have no idea what I want right now, though. That's the issue. Um, oh, yeah, we can also do the Reaper now. That was attached to the first boss. Um, uh, that might be what we do at these points. I'll decide next time. But for right now, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So without further ado, without further ado, take care, everybody. I think I messed up my throat with all the yelling. <laughs>